What's going on everybody? So, Sunless Khan posted a video talking about double taps, and it's actually like an amazing video. I'm pretty sure it's like my favorite Sunless Khan video that he's ever posted. And in that video, he basically breaks down the double tap. And of course, one of the steps of the double tap is reading. And in his video, he doesn't really explain how to read. He just says, you have to do it. Just do it! And I want this video to focus more on how to read, or steps that you can take, things you can look out for to make reading easier for you to get that practice in. Because a lot of people, when they learn how to read, they don't know what they're trying to do. They're just, like, jumping at the ball and hoping to hit it, and then after a thousand jumps, they get closer and closer until they learn to hit it. But I had, like, an epiphany, I guess about how to read the ball, specifically off the backboard. I mean, it works for other walls too, but it's a little different. Um, but for backboard shots, I had, I basically made like this discovery. I had this epiphany of like how to read it easier, I guess. I've never heard anyone else talk about it before, so I don't know if I'm actually like the original like finder of this, or maybe I'm just putting it in my own words and claiming I discovered, I don't really know. But basically, because one of the problems I had when I was trying to learn double taps is I was like, where's the ball? Like, how am I supposed to know where the ball is going to end up, like, when it bounces? Like, I don't know if it's going to bounce down or up, and I would try to read it, because I'm like, okay, it's, like, I want to get it to the net, so I would, like, position my car lower to, like, try to hit the ball, and, like, that wouldn't work. And I was like, oh, to hit the ball into the net, I have to be above the ball. Like, I was still having problems reading it as well as I could be, and I would just like fly over the ball or like, I don't know what kind of problems I had, but then it, it, it like dawned on me. I was like, oh my god, like this makes it so much easier to read. So basically what it is, there's like three rules, but it they all surround like one main rule. And the rule is wherever the ball hits on the wall is where it's going to bounce out from. And that sounds like really obvious and really straightforward, but trust me, like it helps so much. If you just position your car, like if you're able to just position your car and like match the height of the ball when it hits the wall, you're probably gonna get like a really nice touch for the double tap. But there's like three rules you need to keep in mind. So the first one is if the ball hits the wall, like at the apex of its parabola. So basically if the ball isn't gaining height when it's hitting the wall or losing height when it hits the wall, it'll just bounce straight out, right? Like that makes sense. If the ball is gaining height when it hits the wall, it'll bounce a little bit more up then. So you'll, you'll have to make your car a little bit above uh, where the ball hits the wall. But in game you'll rarely see this one. The ball doesn't normally bounce up off the back wall, so you don't really have to worry about this one. And lastly, of course, if the ball is losing height as it hits the wall, then it'll bounce a little bit down. And so you can position your car just a little bit down where the ball hits the wall. But the main part is just learning to know where the ball hits the wall and position your car of equivalent height to the ball when it touches the wall. And you should get a pretty solid hit if you have the car control to get there to get the angle you need. So I like to do it in free play. You can get training packs for it if you want, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, I also prefer to use Bacchus mod to set them up just because like this setup here, I don't really like going for double touches like parallel to midfield because like the ball spawns right here and then I have to push it this way or if I want to turn it it's like right here and this is just really close. So I'll, I'll just use Bacchus mod and just roll the ball up like over here. You can get like really long distance uh, double touches this way. Uh, and in this video I'm not going to be focusing on the first touch. I'm mostly just going to be focusing on how to actually read the ball off of the backboard. Okay, so I'm going to set myself up. I'm going to get my touch. I'm going to hit it to the backboard. And then I'm just going to match the ball's height the whole time. Can you see that? You see the touch I was able to get there? Let me show you again. I'm just matching the height of the ball the whole time. So I'm going to set myself up. Uh, bring it to the backboard, and then I'm just going to match the ball of the height the whole time, and then get the angle to put it down. So I get my hit, and I just match the, the height of the ball the whole time. And if you can get the angle to just 
just hit it down into the net and then you saw it. So I'll show you again. Just like this. Oh, that was close. Missed angle. And if you're more comfortable, you can use your flip to get it to the backboard. It doesn't matter as long as you're matching the height of the ball the whole time. So as you see here, whatever way you're comfortable getting the ball to the backboard is fine. Just match the height of the ball as it hits off of the wall, and you should be solid. A few final things I forgot to mention, there does exist bounces in the game where matching the height of the ball just simply won't work. Uh, these bounces are most commonly on the ceiling curve because like, if you match the height of it, it's just never going to work. Another really important thing is spacing yourself out between yourself and the wall. You don't want to be chasing the ball to the wall because you need to give yourself room to actually hit the angle you need. And the closer you are to the wall when you hit the ball, the tighter of an angle you have on the net. So it's actually more beneficial to just save your boost, like just chill, slow down a bit, and wait for the ball to come to you. Yeah. Thanks for watching if you made it this far. I really hope you were able to learn something from this video. If you have any tips like at all or like content you want to see from me in the future, please let me know. I'm always looking for more ideas of things I need to make. Anyways, that's it for me guys. I'll see you in the next one.